I'm Sean Gann, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms, and we're going to condense each expression to a single logarithm. So, if I was given this, 4 log 3 minus 4 log of 8. Well, <clears throat> I have 4 log of 3 minus 4 log of 8. If from there, what I want to do is, that since I want to condense this, there's a few ways to go about it, but what I'm going to do is, I see a 4 in front of each one of these logarithms. What I'm going to do is put that 4 to the exponent of each one, because we know it's written out front, we multiply it, we put it as the exponent of the number inside. So we have log of 3 to the 4th power minus log of 8 to the 4th power. Okay? So now we have log of 3 to the 4th power minus log of 8 to the 4th power. Well, they're separating now by subtraction, these two logs. Okay, the logs are the same thing, so we can combine them. And so we have log of 3 to the 4th power minus log of 8 to the 4th, and we combine that and become a division. So we really right now, log of my first number here, 3 to the 4th, divided by the second number, log of 8 to the 4th, when we combine them. And that's it. We simplify this as much as possible. And so again, our final answer here is just log of 3 to the 4th divided by 8 to the 4th. Let's recap. We're given 4 log 3 minus 4 log 8. And we want to condense this. Well, the 4s become the exponents of each one of the numbers, 3 to the 4th and 8 to the 4th, where it was written out in front, we can put it as the exponent. Then that subtraction causes a division when we condense it. So we have uh, 3 to the 4th over 8 to the 4th giving us again our final answer of log of 3 to the 4th divided by 8 to the 4th.